Hey guys, Nick Sakalis here. I know it's been quite some time since uh, our last video, uh, but I'm sure everybody understands that ever since quarantine and lockdown has uh, phased out here in Long Island, it has been absolutely bonkers as far as the amount of activity that's been happening. It's been keeping me on my toes and uh, definitely keeping me busy um, uh, for the past uh, few weeks. Now, one of the reasons I decided to actually do a video right now is uh, because I'm back in Freeport right now. Uh, we're getting really close to uh, having a closing on one of the houses that we have left here. Actually, the only house that we have left here. And I figured I'd give everybody a look at into what has been happening down here ever since the lockdown has uh, lifted. You know, a lot of activity has been uh, definitely been picking up. And it's definitely not the same type of place that we remember seeing a few months ago in one of the past videos I did with uh, absolutely dead silence uh, on these streets. So I'm back on the nautical mile right now. And just wanted to give everybody a, a better look at what's going on. So I'm gonna switch camera views to give you a good look. So it's definitely not what it used to be as far as these type of days. It, this, this would have definitely been bonkers right now. Like on a day like this, it, not a cloud in the sky and you would have had a lot more people on the streets. However, it is promising that you're seeing a lot more people than what we saw before. Like a lot of people are still wearing their masks, so that's a you know, positive thing that people are still being careful. It's nice to hear some of the music. Uh, it's just a good overall feeling as far as getting people to starting to get their lives together again and feel like somewhat normal. a normal spot where you, see, you would see lots of activity normally. Uh, Two Cousins Fish Market is always a hot spot uh, where you, know, you get a lot of activity and I don't think that ever really dropped as far as uh, people coming to get fish. They were always considered to be essential regardless. seeing people starting to gather in the bars again. Lots of cars on the street. I don't know what they're doing. They probably must be inside rather than outside because I don't see the amount of people that would correlate with the amount of cars that are on the streets. But it looks like people are actually having fun again. You know, they're having a drink. There's, they're hanging out outside. They're getting to enjoy the water. Enjoy the weather. It doesn't look like the 
construction on this place has really moved forward since uh, I was last here. I'm wondering if uh, they even got restarted yet. I know that they, they have the ability to start working again, but who knows. Let's give everybody a look from the other side. sale sign is up there right now maybe they run out of money who knows that wasn't up here about a month ago so it's definitely a mixed bag as far as how many people are wearing their masks how many are not wearing their masks you know there's still a lot of caution out there, but it's not necessarily on high alert the way it was. But you could see that people are really having fun again and they're actually wanting to you know, get out and get, get on with their lives. This place looks like it's closed. And unfortunately, you're going to see a lot of that. A lot of places may not reopen after uh, the hit they all took uh, under quarantine, which is sad. You know, you had a lot of uh, places that were barely able to make it. And even with the uh, PPP money that was coming in and uh, whatever other uh, funds that were uh, allocated to be able to help everybody, it was just that definitely wasn't enough. You know, and the thing with the PVP money, it wasn't as if it was free money. Uh, it was a loan. And only a portion of it was forgivable if you had to fit the right uh, parameters uh, by keeping you know, your staff in place. But if you, you're not able to operate, how are you going to keep your staff in place and take a loan on, on your business to keep paying them? It, it, it's a really difficult situation that occurred. was like a little happy family. Right on the left of the screen you see the, the statue of the thing. It's always actually one of my favorite things about this uh, uh, strip you know I don't know what what the origin of that was uh, but I just find it cool I guess I, it's because I'm an old comic book nerd and I, I love the reading Marvel comics and Thing was always one of my favorite characters so I guess it always uh, uh, stays uh, close to me That's basically it. I mean, you, that's the what the strip is looking like these days. Definitely not what we've been accustomed to over years and years of like liveliness over here. But it's definitely getting better slowly. I'm glad to see it's starting to pick up. Uh, definitely not what it used to be. Uh, and it's gonna take a while, you know, for one, people to get, get comfortable going out to these places, and two, 
uh, for places to be able to regroup properly, to be able to operate under all the new conditions, uh, conditions and parameters that are being put in place because of all the COVID restrictions. Not that it's a bad thing, but it's just a way of doing business in a really different way. But on that note, I am going to sign off and at least everybody gets a little bit of a view of what Freeport's looking like right now.